at my age, my milestone, and now I bridge heaven. What do the angels sound like now? And when I look back from here, I wonder if you'll see their faces too. I'm Martin, I'm 18. And I'm Camille, and I'm 18. I'm Kevin, I'm 19. Transition wasn't too hard, I think, from high school. I came straight from high school, I entered a gap year IMB, so it was pretty solid. I mean, this year's been a bit more like grindy and more like or not enough motivation, but the semester's like coming around and it's pretty good so far. It's been uh, pretty good. It took me a while to get used to it, I think. Like, we're just at the beginning. Like, this is our first year. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's been good though. It's getting better, I reckon, as everyone gets more comfortable and stuff. Well, I went to a Catholic school, so it was very like restrictive in terms of like creativity and just opinion. It was very much, this is just, like the right way to do things, just cookie cutter young men. And university is more like just be yourself, but back it up. Uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like coming here every day and making art. It's the best. <laughs> I'm Dean and I'm 22. Shame is 28. Uh, do you want to start? Right okay, yeah. Oh, way better. Way better. Yeah, I hated high school. Yeah. High school, uh, are you going to swear in this week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> high school is like really shit, yeah. <laughs> uh, like I felt what we're being taught in high school, like what I've been introduced to, like English and maths, like I sort of understood why we had to know these things, but I really couldn't see how they're going to be prevalent in my life or what I was going to do. Well, uh, it was about 10 years ago. <laughs> um, basically, I'm not, I'm not a brat anymore. Like, you know, when they talk about that sort of, uh, 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 you know, that feeling of entitlement, that was definitely me at 18. I mean, there's less kind of, you know, how, like, attendance isn't really kind of, it's all kind of yeah. done by yourself. <laughs> you know, you really into that. DIY? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> DIY experience. Yeah. You sort of come into uni and I get given all this freedom and I probably abused that freedom in, like, my second year. And... That sort of led me to basically fail the whole semester. Yeah, I've learned structure and discipline in my life. Like, I've learned to put myself in a position to be taught and guided. Like, you know, I've, I've learned the value of asking for help and like, I've learned that by myself, like, I can only go so far in my own power, but like one person working with me, that's a power greater than myself. And I've learned from my own experience that like nothing just happens by doing nothing, you know? I'm not gonna have this life that I want by just osmosis. Um, my name's Michelle, and I'm 20, soon to be 21. I'm Jackson, and I'm 26 years old. <laughs> like, just one of those straight up mean girls. Not outwardly, like I wouldn't bully people, but I would think mean things and like say mean things. I think because I was with a bunch of people who would do the same thing. We're all so different and we come from really different walks of life. Where someone like uh, like Jackson, when I first saw him, I was like, I'm not going to like this person. He's scary. He's probably a thug. All these like terrible thoughts. <laughs> and he's probably one of the sweetest, friendliest, easygoing. He's just this good, nice, inside. He's, he's good on, on the inside person. Whereas when I know if I'd been 18 or so, I would have thought really different. Well, I definitely get beat up a lot less here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite know how much I've really changed since I was 18. I'll be... I still look exactly the same. If anything, I've lost some weight. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm a little smarter, a little wiser. But apart from that, yeah, I'm basically the same person. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think, why well, really mean. And I think I've become a, lot of, a much more nicer and accepting person. I've kind of been like really humbled, uh, especially in the last year or so. And I just find that um, probably what gives me the most pleasure today would be, I know it sounds really corny, but just um, like helping other people. Whereas before I was very like, you know, uh, I was a bit of an island, like very, uh, very self-supporting in the way that I would take from others and not give back. But um, no, that's, that's very different now. It's a milestone here. I mean, we've all been drinking since before we were allowed to drink. <laughs> like
like it's just gonna be another night at the pub, but at like a fancy function hall. <laughs> I mean, like, if someone wants to celebrate being 21st and like live that experience, that's so fun. And they'll often be like, uh, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it's not really. I don't generally like to celebrate myself. I've never really had so many parties in like the last maybe like 10 years. And I don't, I just see 21 as being a milestone age. I don't know why it is. I mean, I think maybe like 25 is like halfway to 30. America, capitalism, you know, like all the birthday colors, companies are like, yeah, let's make this a thing. It's like Valentine's Day. It's like just one of those like things that isn't real, but is real in your head. Yeah, actually, maybe 21 was a bit of a turning point. I don't know what it was. It was not a noticeable change, but it was a, that definitely was a noticeable change. Mm -hmm. But I can't really explain how. I don't know, it might be better though, maybe. No. I mean, having a <laughs> drink with anyone, that's what I mean. I don't like drinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, how would they best play me? Is that is that sort of what's going on here? Like, there's going to be like a play built on specific interviews done like this. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to know what's going down, so I can come see it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't take yourself too seriously, yeah. Try to be arrogant, but like not too arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Forcing your leader out to feel famous. <laughs> so you're big enough to get a play about me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's. That would be pretty good. Also, just like theatre is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that had happened, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. I'd be up for it. Yeah, I'd be down. Maybe try and draw on their experiences of pain and how they overcame that pain. <laughs> it's, uh, relatable. Um, please be gentle. <laughs> no, I, I would. Uh, look, no, I would say um, shred, just try to envision a world where everything that makes you nervous and unique, and that you be able to be objectified. <laughs> <laughs> My. Perception of myself clearly isn't how others perceive. I think it would be too confronting. It would be a surreal experience. It'd be exciting, but also nerve wracking. But um, nah, I, I really enjoy seeing that. And it's kind of great to have this day in my life, like cemented. My sister's having a baby today. Um, she wanted to give birth naturally, but because it's a breech baby, she has to have a C-section, which is happening in less than half an hour from right now. So my mind is like spinning in all directions. So yeah, this kind of really in between day where I'm like excited and nervous, but like overwhelmingly happy, but just very like scattered. And every time I think about being 18, I keep thinking about my niece or nephew being 18, like the inevitability of them growing up one day. And today is the first day of that as well. So it's like a milestone. Um, try not to mumble. 